So for uh, this tutorial, I'm going to describe a new, really nice tool, one of my favorite tools, which is for Faro 4. Uh, if you don't have the Faro 4 image, I, you can get the Faro 4 image from the Faro website or use Faro Launcher. And if you don't know what Faro Launcher is and how to use it, uh, then you can watch my video tutorial on Faro Launcher. So the tool I'm going to discuss today in this tutorial is going to be GT Spotter. Now, GT Spotter is a tool to find classes and methods quickly and pretty much every kind of Faro object uh, inside Faro. So in order to open it, we have to use the, uh, the keyboard uh, shortcut Command and Enter. So if I uh, press Command and Enter, uh, you, uh, you, we see a, a white window opens and we have some very basic results. We see here are the tools of Faro and some, uh, uh, actually it's a world menu from what I see here. And the things that you're going to see if you open a world menu. And then we have here the history that shows us previous uh, search results. And here we have uh, the uh, playground. The playground is actually uh, a modern implementation of uh, workspace for uh, Faro 4. And it has uh, many new, nice and cool features, which I'm not going to discuss in this video tutorial. So let's say, let's search for something. Let's say for button. Now, button is going to, to return me uh, some kind of search results. Now, the first search results here are the classes, which displays only 5 out of 666. So it says that I found 660, sorry, 66 classes, uh, and uh, uh, I'm only displaying you 5 classes out of those. And, and then I also found uh, 1104 methods that use button as a name, as part of their name, and I'm only displaying you 5 of them. So let's see how we can actually see all 66 classes, all the 66 results. In order to see all the results, you go to uh, anywhere you want here and you press Shift Command. Remember that command in other operation system is the Alt key. So every time you hear command, you use if you are on Windows and Linux instead of the Alt key. So it's Shift Alt in this case. Shift Command and right arrow. And now we see all the results here. So let's say that I want to check this class. Now, if you want to just uh, open a system browser with this class, all you have to do is press Enter. And of course, the system browser opens and selects the class for you. If you want to do the same with methods, again, the same thing. Shift, Command, and right arrow. And you can go back if you want Shift, Command, and left arrow. And go whatever method you want to see. For example, let's see this method here. Uh, buttons and of course the methods really open. So it's a really nice convenient tool to search results very easily uh, to do your searches. Uh, and of course you can use something more elaborate like the finder which has a bit more options here that you can use. But uh, overall it's actually quite easy, quite simple and it gets it to the And pretty much that's it. So enjoy using GDSpotter and see you on the next tutorial.